Let's do this. Hi, this is Tarot Talk with Ann T. Donahue, where I combine the mythical worlds of tarot card reading and pop culture, always using the wild unknown, which is the best tarot deck in the world, unless you have the best tarot deck in the world. And in that case, you do you. So this week, we're gonna talk about three things. They're very important, kind of, but also supremely. The first is the premiere of Girl Boss, which premieres on Friday. The second is the premiere of Bill Nye the Science Guy, who's making his triumphant return. And the third is Emma Watson in the movie The Circle, starring Tom Hanks, AKA, love of my life. But first, we're gonna get started by shuffling the deck and pulling a card and seeing how it relates to pop culture as we know it. So get this party started. That card doesn't wanna be there, because it flipped out. That's how it works. So we shuffle. And then you cut the deck into three. You stack them up however you see fit. And then I'm gonna pull the card that's at the top. That is the Father of Swords. Let's learn about the Father of Swords. This is when I read from the notebook. The Father of Swords, fair and analytical. Like all the Swords family, the Father has a gift for perception. He has a distinct ability to remove himself emotionally so that he can truly see situations from all angles. He is therefore respected by others. They usually describe him as fair and just. He is a responsible man with deep ties to his family. And this makes sense. When you think of Girl Boss, beyond all of the CEO chapter 11 stuff that's happening in real life, it's a story of Sofia Amoruso, who started out when she was a wee teen and she built this giant company, this empire for herself. And in order to do that, you need somebody who's got a distinct ability to remove yourself emotionally so that you can build a business. That's where the Father of Swords comes into play. Also, to make your own show, you also have to remove yourself emotionally from what you're actually making and seeing and creating. So that's how that factors into Girl Boss. Number two, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Totally fair, totally analytical. The man is a science man. Bill Nye is totally the father of swords. When you think about him, he's respected by everybody around him, he's living his life, he's totally cool, he's stoic, he's knowledgeable, he is an owl, especially when swords is a suit of the mind. So I would say that this card especially pertains to the triumphant return of Bill Nye. Emma Watson and the circle, not so much. So here's where we're gonna actually pull three cards for Emma Watson. We're not gonna look into her personal life, that is none of my business, it is none of your business, so, bear with me as I shuffle a little bit more and we see what the future holds for Emma Watson. Shuffle if you're doing this at home until you feel like it's time to put them down and to think about what you're doing. Cut them into three. All right, now we have the past, the daughter of wands, present, the four of cups, and the future, the son of wands. So let's start by looking at what the Daughter of Wands means. The Daughter of Wands, visionary and passionate. The Daughter of Wands is a free spirit, a truly visionary creature. She usually waits until later to settle down or to start a family as she's busy with her career. She can be stubborn and is stronger than she looks. As with all the Wands family, the Daughter makes a dangerous enemy. This card can also represent a woman going through a transformation or spiritual breakthrough. If this is Emma Watson, absolutely. Think about all the stuff she went through between Harry Potter and now. She became a feminist spokesperson, she started crusading for women's rights, she started he for she. This is totally Ms. Emma, especially if we're talking about her strictly professionally, which we are, nobody sue us. Present, the Four of Cups. Now FYI, the Cups is all about emotions. Everybody likes the Two of Cups. The Four of Cups is a little bit, eh. Greed and discontent. An outsider would look upon your life and see supportive relationships, pleasures, and even a bit of luxury, but you don't see it that way. Instead, there's discontentment, apathy, and even greed for more. The Four of Cups warns not to take your situation for granted, nor the people who supported you along the way. Look around you. What are you truly longing for? Name it. This could probably mean that right now, a movie like The Circle we're not hearing very much about. This could talk about how she's looking around at her projects post Beauty and the Beast and wondering what's going on. What does she want? Who does she want to be? Does she want more? Does she want more notoriety? Does she want to get into politics more? The Emma card, the Four of Cups. I don't think it's a greed situation because she doesn't seem very greedy. Also, I don't know her and I don't want to project. The future, Son of Wands. Two wands in a deck, you guys. Very exciting. In a spread, I should say. The Son of Wands, charming and adventurous. The Son of Wands is a true charmer. He's handsome, adventurous, and seems to say all the right things. Some call him the White Knight of the Tarot but at some point you may find he becomes hard to know. Trust your instincts with this one. Perfection is an illusion. 
So, without reading too much into it, and I don't like to apply gender to the readings because I don't think it's very fair, this could represent the next chapter of Emma's life, which is all about adventure and trying new things and things seeming too good to be true. So Emma, if you're watching, make sure that as all of those wonderful opportunities are coming towards you, which I'm sure that they are, you stop and wonder if your gut is saying, I don't trust this, do not proceed, or question it. Or at the very least, remember, the son of wands, charming, white knight, wonderful, but you don't need to be rescued because you've already rescued yourself. This has been Tarot Talk with Auntie Donahue. Next week, we talk more about tarot, pop culture, maybe I'll pull the lovers.